They're about to get underway. Long Island Championship on the line. Cal Girard, the Duke commit, the All-American of Manhasset, winning the opening faceoff. Manhasset in the navy blue and orange. Shore and Wedding River, white jerseys, blue numbers, yellow shorts, navy blue trim. As this is expected, Dave, to perhaps be the best matchup of the four on the day. Manhasset nationally ranked, while Shore and Wading River fresh off, ending the undefeated season of the Mount Sinai Mustangs. Most people feel that as far as public school, Long Island lacrosse is concerned, that Manhasset is the most complete team, regardless of classification, school size, or conference. Shoreham Wading River, again, a very valiant competitor. They know how to compete in big games like that. Gorey turns towards goal, fires, and beats Matt M for the opener 90 seconds in. Winning the little battles in this game, as you mentioned, is going to be a key strategy for Mike Taylor. And knowing that he's at a disadvantage at the faceoff stripe, as you said, any possession the top 50 players in his recruiting class and turning to goal here and baiting the tough save from Matthew M is Ryan Herr. One of the great things about Matthew M is his ability to recover. We saw that a few times in the county championship where he let a few goals in that he really wanted to have back, but he made the two main threats. And here comes Peterson. The Harvard commit has blinding speed. He had his breakout during their state tournament run a year ago. Pass off, shot, and we're all even on the run. Aiden Haggerty ties it at one apiece. The special thing about this Manhasset offense is they can attack you from multiple angles. Everybody is a dodging threat. And sometimes defenses can get really focused in at Jack Peterson. A natural lefty. He's developed his right hand that time. Dominant with the left. And here comes Cal Girard back up to his old tricks. He likes to shoot in these situations. Can't find a river on the run. Liam Kersis. Another Liam and he scores! Liam Connor can't get it done on one end. Liam Taylor forces a turnover, and then the Duke commit. Liam Kersis pays it off on the other end. Really great start by Shoreham Waning River. Championship team. Gregoric, a step, and right into the waiting stick of Matt M. James Lapina did a good job of standing. Peterson. Kersis, shot, fired, in. Liam Gregoric, his second. And with 96 seconds left in the first quarter, sure I'm waiting, Rivers rolling. Grad, who is credited going into the Final Four for becoming a more complete lacrosse player over the year, and not just a face-off guy and someone who could be a threat on offense. As Cal Forum, as that shot deflected at the last second in Manhasset, going to come up with a turnover, Matthew M, to start the clearance. It was taken away from Liam Gregoric. You know, sometimes those early season losses can be valuable. Ask Harold. Dodge from Petroselli. Time and space and a goal from Manhasset. Jack Peterson ends the drought and brings the Indians back within one. The future Ivy Leaguer scores a really important goal for Manhasset. And Luca Petroselli gets an adds to his point. Jack Peterson's time of year had five goals and an assist against Wanta. Was dominant last year against Mount Sinai through the state finals as Gerard here in the second quarter. An opportunity to tie Liam Connor you see how trying to lifting? use his 6-6 six, six frame and that's what he loves to do. The turnaround jump shot for the basketball star and we're all even at three goals apiece. And number 14 answers against number 38. Again you see Liam Taylor getting low and lift another shot's probably incoming Gerard on the run and tips it back oh just missed would have been a field hockey style goal for Cal Gerard her turning the corner almost a hold by PJ Flood there and a diving shot at X no penalty on the play as Liam Gregoric got taken down in, in his operating room slick dodge a shot a goal We've touched on it. And Hassett has two very strong college bound short stick D middies. They didn't play great in the Class C County Championship. And that is ultimately rolling over to today. When you so that'll do it for the opening half of play. A 4 to 3 lead for sure. I'm waiting River over Manhasset. In terms of Division 1 guys with the Shoreham team, Peterson. 
tried to junk that one in, but a quick stick by Galfano. Galfano continues to play strong off of that 15 save performance against. Alec Gregoric held off the score sheet no longer. Unholy fire rained down from heaven. Gregoric on the board and a two goal lead for Shoreham Waiting River. It was only a matter of time before Gregoric was going to make an impact on the score sheet. Senior attackman going to the naval. They've been so assignment sound when they slide and when they switch, and Galfano's made up for it when they're not. Liam Connor had Shoreham wait. At stick low on the tall body to try to force Galfano to drop, but he's very, very strong in that area as this will be a possession wasted. To make the exchange between Alex Kershus and Luke Gorman. Oh, what a move! A dodge, a fake, and a score for Matt Cargiulo. That was dirty. Over the course of this game, Shoreham Waiting River has put short stick demides on Liam Connor. Matt Cargiulo and Danny Colon. And that time, Matt Cargiulo really makes Ryan Wilson pay as he finds a man on the field now. It speeds right by him. Gerard knifing in just off on the shot. And he'll draw but a drew a penalty. The hit to the head. I don't know if he's selling it or if he's really hurt, but that was a hard conk to the helmet for Cal Gerard. Penalty might have been called on William Miller. Which might not be the worst situation for Mike Taylor for your... It, it's just Owen Taylor. Liam Taylor. Liam Taylor, excuse me. And again, that's important for Manhattan because he's their best defender. And we see it pay off right away for the Indians. Pat Arnold on the finish. Going into the state semifinals, Coach Cromwell told us to look out for Luca Petroselli and Pat Arnold as they were going to see increased playing time Going into the playoffs to add to the Indians' depth. Petrocelli. Quick move by his brother, Alec. The top goal scorer in Suffolk County draws the slide and dispossessed and de-sticked by James Lapina. And Lapina will push. And I know Jack LaMarca made a mistake last time out. As here's a run on the cage. Matt Im able to snag it out of midair. To disrupt that shot a little bit. Alec Gregoric jump shot. Oh, man, a magic trick from the senior. He's leading Suffolk County in goals for a reason. And Gregoric ties up Jack Mulholland with the question mark. Haggerty, that goal in the first half. Same position, same result. Aiden Haggerty ties it up at six. Two important things to take into consideration there. For one, really great shot by Haggerty on the run to bury that one low on Jaden Galfano where he was probably screened a little bit because Jaden Galfano, much like Will Conklin from Wontaw, is good at tracking the ball low and gave Manhasset some trouble in that area. Also important with Mike Mondiello. Oh, Gerard was the one who hit that ball out of play. So you see the hustle just to keep it in bounds for Manhasset from Rowan Collins. Extra uh, fight and then throwing it out inexplicably, Will Miller. Will Miller was strong. And Cargiulo resets now to Peterson. Peterson a step down shot, pours it in, and Manhasset has their first lead. From every angle, the Indians are really starting to look more like themselves as Jack Peterson, the captain in the number 32 jersey, Gives Manhasset a pivotal one-goal lead. So now Cargiulo. He is a goal. Draws two. Cut in and a finish. Mike Mondiello diving to the cage. Haggerty found him. And Manhasset has their first two-goal lead of the morning. Andrew Tamino came off the bench for Shoreham Waiting River to play short stick D mid. And Manhasset takes advantage there. And in certain situations, in games like... If you're sure, at what point do you bring Galfano out of goal? And it might be sooner than you think as Liam Connor makes it a three-goal lead on the dish from Jack Peterson. Senior to senior, and that might have been the dagger for Manhasset. Harvard finds Colgate on the doorstep. A and a, and a Commonwealth a connection action, Dave? No, that's Cargiulo. Right, Colgate's right, right, right. in New York. Right, Colgate's in New York. However... Jack, I get excited whenever it could come up. Cargiulo, Peterson, 
and Liam Connor are the Burgundy brothers. Perfect. Because Harvard wears crimson, and then UMass and Colgate both wear maroon. I, I, I forgot my connection there. I, I got to study but an, for next game. But a nice finish by Liam Connor for his second goal of the game. Didn't have to work too hard. They, I don't think Alfano's on the field. Looks like they pulled him completely. Yeah, but another so double team against Peterson. And you're right, he's not no on shot. There. And that's going to be an easy one for Jack Peterson. Too fast, too good. And this game, Dave, feels like deja vu. Where short, or excuse me, where Mount Sinai a year ago controlled things for a half against Manhasset. They were just too explosive, too many weapons. And then Cal Girard are a little bit flustered, making unforced errors. And for Coach Cromwell to tighten things up and start doing things like changing through the midfield line to give his team an advantage and open this game up in the fourth quarter. A lot of credit to him. And that's a big-time ground ball from James Lapina. Another guy, you know, that got off to a slow start but got better and better as this game went along. As did P.J. Flood. Lapina going to play in the Patriot League for Boston University. Easy finish. Oh, what a save! I jinxed them! Wow. But the rebound goes in <laughs> and a flag. Daniel Colin on the... Kids. In a game, Manhasset didn't lead until the fourth quarter... The Indians come back for a five-goal victory and their second consecutive Long Island championship. They'll move on to Albany to play for consecutive state finals with a win at Albany. They'll head back to Hofstra for that opportunity. And sure, I'm waiting River undefeated in the last decade in these Long Island Championships games. An incredible run for Mike Taylor. He came from Dowling College where he won a Division II National Championship yep. to Shoreham, a state semifinals that year. So one final look at this core of Manhasset seniors. Contributions up and down the roster for Manhasset. Some of the younger guys got involved. We mentioned Luca Petroselli. Pat um, Arnold as well. Pat Arnold getting a finish. But man, this senior group, the guys who didn't play as big of a role last year. Matt Cargiulo, just because they had so much depth, and Aiden Haggerty with that ACL, contributing three goals between the two of them. All, all three felt essential to Manhasset staying in this game. Again, Aiden Haggerty coming off that torn ACL, his ability to dodge on the short stick and take advantage of those opportunities got Manhasset some really important goals today. And you're great. Uh, and you're right. Just like Shoreham Wading River, Manhasset has a great senior group filled with college stars. Haggerty going to Villanova, Connor going to Colgate. Carjulo and Peterson, the Commonwealth connection with Carjulo going to UMass and Peterson going to Harvard. Gerard is going to Duke, where, of course, Liam Kirchis will join him a year later. Rowan Collins is going to play at Lehigh for Kevin Cassis, a Comswag alum from Long Island. Jack Morrison is an early commit to Amherst in the NESCAC. LaMarca really rebounded and had some bright spots, especially late in this game. He's going to Siena. And Mulholland, another early commit to Dartmouth. So 